He is about to embark on a new project, one of singular importance. The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power was built on a series of fascinating auditions. Most of them involved an amount of secrecy that we're not sure we've seen before. What are some of the wildest audition stories from the Rings of Power cast? Stick around to find out. We face it with our hearts even bigger than our feet. Number one. Morbid Clark describes her audition process as long. Long very long and spanned three countries. She said that it started off in London, then went to LA, and then finished off in Barcelona with Jay and all his crew. There were kind of two scenes, one of which was with Elrond, and one of which was with Hellbrand. The one Elrond that I auditioned with, we didn't shoot for a long time. There was such a relief when that scene was finally shot. The audition yeah. was finally over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number two. We know Emma Horvath for her role in Rings of Power, but her journey with the show started with considerably more mystery. When asked about her audition process, Emma said, My casting process was two tapes. I got lucky. It was shorter than most people's. I was hoping that my character was a dwarf. I played a dwarf in my school musical when I was 10 years old, so I thought I'd get another go. I think that's, that's cool. <laughs> Number three, Ismael Cruz Cordova says about his audition experience. Six, seven yeah. months, something like that. His first audition was in New York, then he ended up having a couple of auditions in LA, and then he wound up in South Africa for another project he was doing, but unfortunately, that's when he got his first rejection. And I was very ferocious about it. I said, nope, I'm, we're gonna keep fighting for this thing. The showrunners had to send an email that didn't really go his way. Like, listen, you're wonderful, but like, it's not going your direction. But then, there was a twist. Cordova was told, Actually, we're gonna screen test five guys and we'll give you a chance. He went to New Zealand pretending he didn't care, but of course he cared a lot. And then the rest was history. He got the role. On what day was he here? Number four. When asked about his audition experience, Charles explains. Mine was very straightforward. I, I submitted a tape and um, that was it. It was quite a quick turnaround. I hear others were less quick. His audition was pretty basic and not nearly as chaotic as some of his co-stars. He also said, I only knew who I was playing a couple of weeks after being cast. When I was told, I hadn't heard the name Celebrimbor before, so I looked it up and I was very pleased once I realized what the role was. And yes, yes, it very well could be. Number five, Benjamin Walker brings us the role of Gilgalad in Rings of Power. When asked about his audition experience, he said, I sent a tape and then months went by, I completely forgot about the job. He'd gotten a call from the production team saying, So we're going another way with the other character. Do you want this one? And I was like, yeah. But I was also nervous about it. Yeah, no kidding. When all other senses sleep, the eye of hope is first to awaken. Number six. Sarah Zwangobani's role brought a very quick change to her life when she was suddenly asked to move to a different continent. Here's the story. I did a self-tape. I did a, a one self-tape for the, for the role. Casting a big show like this takes time, so the actor went along with their life. But then they got a phone call on a Thursday asking for them to fly to New Zealand for the Sunday to start the job. So um, I was like, oh, okay. When they got the first two episodes, they didn't actually see the name of the character that they'd auditioned for, which led them to assume, oh, okay, I'm not in, in, the, in the show yet. And then someone said, no, no, this is your character. Number seven, another long one, surprise, surprise. When asked what her audition experience was like, Nazanin Boniardi described it as, uh, months long, I think my first one was April, 2019. And that spanned four auditions, Three of them were taped because I was traveling the world for various other things. There was an in-person audition in London, months later there was a Zoom call with showrunners, and then a month later, the news that they had to move to New Zealand for the role came. We all had pseudonyms at the time, so we didn't. when we auditioned we didn't have our character, actual character names. But there were actual sides that existed in the show for me. If you choose to stand with me and fight, this tower will no longer be a reminder of our frailty. Number 8. Tyro Muhafidin brings us the role of Theo. When asked about the unusual story around his audition, here's what he had to say. It was long, and funnily enough, my older brother Tobias actually got the audition for the role before I did. 
So a week beforehand, they had sent the audition being like, Yeah, we want to look at uh, Tobias for this role, and he put down a self-tape. And then they came back a week later being like, Actually, let's try Tyro, because he's younger. They did an audition tape, heard silence for months, and then all of a sudden found out they'd been shortlisted. That was exciting in itself. Once things started moving fast, they did not stop, even after months of moving so slow. I found myself in New Zealand doing a screen test. Number 9. Dylan Smith was already undergoing a huge life change when he got the call for the role. Here's what he had to say about the process. I went from being a dad to getting cast as a dad. And suddenly being very, very busy. I just did one audition and then I think two and a half months later got the call that I'd gotten the part. They actually moved their whole family down to New Zealand and they wound up staying there because of the experience of the show. I didn't know who I was playing, but I suspected it was a dad. Normally I either get cast as homeless or demonic villain. <laughs> so I was very excited to just play a loving dad. It's working. Number 10. Another unusual story coming your way. Sophia explained, I auditioned for this role uh, two days away from giving birth. And there were many a midwife on speed dial saying, please don't go into London. She wound up in London doing her audition and J.A. Biota literally had to haul her out of her camera test chair. And they were so grateful for me to be there. Number 11. The mystery never stops. Rings of Power actor Charlie Vickers not only had an unusual audition process, but when he showed up, it took him several episodes worth of story to figure out who he was playing. And some of his castmates didn't know either. I certainly was a fan before before coming onto the project. I had maybe six or seven auditions, and when I got to the end of the audition process, they gave me two monologues. One of them from Richard III, and another one from Paradise Lost, a poem by Milton. And that character was literally Satan. He had a feeling that those speeches had something to do with his character, and that that character was probably pretty evil or dark. We filmed the first two episodes, and then we went on hiatus because of COVID. That whole time, I thought I was playing Halbrand, a human from the Southlands, which I think I was. But we need to pause the story here. If you haven't seen the series yet and are worried about spoilers, we suggest you skip ahead. Charlie explained, But then, the guys sat me down right before we started filming the third episode, and they said to me, There's more to this. You're playing Soren. It was a really thorough preparation period. Number 12. We've got Lloyd Owen as Elendil in Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. Here's what he had to say about his experience. My process took 18 months, from the first time I put something on tape. He put on his detective hat and did as much research as he could, getting different sides with every audition, even having an hour and a half long Zoom call with JD Payne that allowed him to get more information. I should never have pulled the elf on board. Number 13. There was a lot of secrecy around the audition material. Here's what actor Maxim Baldry had to say about his experience. I didn't know who I was playing. I auditioned for a young, mercurial guy with the weight of the world on his shoulders. He was very curious to know who he was playing, making all sorts of guesses, and when he heard that his character loved water, he exclaimed, Gollum! I'm playing young Gollum! Oh no! But you had your chance, and you made your choice. Number 14. Megan Richards didn't even know the name of the project. Rings of Power actor Megan Richards explained, when I auditioned, it was called Untitled Amazon Project, and I didn't know who I was playing until I got to New Zealand. I'm really glad that I have Tolkien in my life now. It's no surprise there were some chaotic audition stories. Was there anything we missed about the Rings of Power auditions? Let us know in the comments.